Here we have a 4090 that came in for repair. I got it on my bench right here. And I also have another 4090 that we need to work on today. It came in for a melted 12VH PWR connector. You can tell from the top. And we also have another one that also came for a melted connector right here. Now for this one here, I already replaced the connector. That's a brand new connector. Let's take a look under the microscope. And I want to show you what other issues are going on with this card. So that's the new connector and the soldering from the back. And of course, like always, better than factory. One major issue with this card, aside from the melted connector, are the pins, <laughs> the pins down here. What is going on? What is going on? What in the world? Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Look at this. You're not going to be able to see it properly on the camera. Let's go back under the microscope. If you look here, we have a board that separated. Look at this. We may be able to just put some glue in between and press it. And for this one here, maybe I can put a drop of glue here. Or even we may be able to put solder mask on the very tip of that pad to hold it down in place. And I think that's all what we need. I think. Rest of the pins are good. If we flip the board, we see more damage. Look at this. And to be honest, I never had to fix those pads before. The PCIe pads. I do not know if we should glue them or maybe add solder mask on the very tip because we need the car to be able to go inside the slot without the pads peeling off. Right now what we can do is try to add solder mask on the very tip of each pad and we can try to plug the cord in the PCIe slot and then take it out, check the pins, the pads, make sure they are good. If that does not work, then we will have to somehow put glue under each pad. I mean, I do not think those pads are glued. They're only secured from the very tip. Do we have enough solder mask here? I think we do. I'm trying to flatten that pad as much as possible. I do not know if that is going to work or not, but one way to find out. We already replaced the 12 VHPWR connector on this card, so we can test it right away. We are using the Northridge Fix premium UV mask and one of the best UV lights in the market. You can get those tools from our site. Just log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, choose what you want, add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. Microscopes will be in stock in about a week or maybe less. We are out of stock on the articulating arm as well. That will take maybe two weeks to arrive. 
and of short shipment is on the way maybe a week right now we also need to glue the separation that you see right here but for the time being I just want to see if those pads are gonna pull off when we insert it in the PCIe slot let's see if UV mask will do the trick if not then we're gonna have to add glue under the pads so let's see if we do this we're gonna insert starting from that side and I think the separation of the board is preventing the board going in the slot yeah it's not going in and that's not because of the UV mask look at this the UV mask is intact but it's the separation of that board let's take a look under the microscope if we look at the board that way look at this look at how thick that board is from the very edge here I do not know what we can do to make it flat again look at how thin that board is from this side and how it gets thicker from this side we have a separation here we have a separation I can count all the layers I can count all the layers I do not think any amount of glue in between the layers is gonna bring this back like it was before thin again I don't think that's gonna happen so if the customer can find a way to fit this inside the PCIe slot and just keep it there I'll see you tomorrow right all right the mailman just picked up hey what's up man all right just a minute questions uh, which one? Laptop? Yeah, laptop. Okay. Friend number is uh, 5530. Five, 5530. Five, five, What's wrong with it? Uh, I was just traveling, the battery, the battery was about to dead. And then after I reached my destination, I tried to plug it to, to get it charged. But not Does it work if you plug the charging cable? Uh, right now, I do not think any amount of glue will be able to bring that board back like it was or to make it thin again because we have separation in almost every layer let me try and see if I can fit that cord inside the slot again maybe we should try from this end first yes it went in from one side and yes right there it went in fully so the customer has to wiggle it left and right up and down to make it work and maybe we can test it let's test to make sure the card is working and let's grab the HDMI cable alright and you're not going to be able to see the monitor because the camera is going this way and the monitor is that way what can we do? what should we do?
Okay, maybe we can do this. And we want to look at the top monitor. Yes, yes, it came on. Great, the card is working. And we're going to have to let the customer know that when he plugs the card in the slot, he's going to have to make sure he does not peel off the layers. Plug it in at an angle. He may have to wiggle it left and right, up and down, until he makes it fit. Once the card is in, it's going to work. So I'm glad that was a fix. We did not waste our time on the 12 VHPWR connector for no reason. I did not see the fence down at the bottom until I finished replacing that connector first. And maybe that's a good thing, because if I saw those pins, maybe I would not have fixed the melted connector. What I want to do is check on that solder mask that we added, the UV mask. Wow, look at this. We did awesome. We did awesome. I never tried this before, but it worked amazing here. All I had to do was add UV mask on the bottom pins, and that solved the problem. Because I was thinking, even if I added glue under each pad, if that tip is not secured like this, it's going to end up folding backwards. So I'm glad that worked. Maybe we can add some more right here. So the customer does not have any issues. And we're going to have to let the customer know to be extra careful. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.